In this video, let's take a look at the seventh query method, which is getByTitle. GetByTitle returns the element that has the matching title attribute. Let's understand the usage with an example. In the application component, below the paragraph tag, I'm going to add a span tag. So this is sort of like a close icon with a title attribute that shows when you hover over it. Now we can find this element in our test using the getByTitle query. In application.test.tsx, const close element is equal to screen.getByTitle and the title is close. In the next line, we expect the close element to be in the document. If we save the file, the test passes. If I now change the title attribute to open, we can see the test fails. Our query method works as expected. To summarize, getByTitle returns the element that has the matching title attribute. For our example, we created a span tag with a title and found it in our test using getByTitle. That is our seventh query method. We have just one more to go, so let's take a look at that in the next video.